Tasha, you have the floor. And she's, by the way, also a Planet 5050 champion. Come up here, please, and speak. Excellencies, distinguished panelists, and esteemed audience, as I stand here today, I am humbled by the challenge before us as we consider these vital issues of gender equality, women's empowerment, and the ending of gender-based violence. Much of my work in the recent years has focused on the grassroots in Southern Africa, where I have been confronted by the stark reality of countries with enormous need I see today unsafe roads, hospitals, schools, and parks where women and girls are not safe. Women continue to be outsiders in a patriarchal world. We must change that. We must change men from within. I am here as UN Women Planet 5050 champion to share my story of empowerment. What most of you don't know is that I am a survivor of war and that today I stand here to fight for ending violence against women and girls. I am here at the, at the UN as, sorry, I am honored to share my journey with you. Give me. I was born in Southern Africa. <laughs> I was born in Southern Africa at a time that was dangerous and very difficult. Civil war was upon us. At the age of 10, I was forced to flee the war zone and the country that was home, along with my family. Over one million were killed. I saw young girls being raped and women being harassed and tortured before being shot to death. I cried, but I could not do anything. I was only 10. Four years later, at the age of 14, we faced another revolution. The killing was brutal. I can still remember the deafening sounds of gunshots being fired through the streets and into the houses. My grandfather was killed in the revolution. Once again, we were forced to flee to protect ourselves. I left behind a country and the people with whom I had shared my home and my life, and most of all, a land which I've always kept on the soles of my feet, a land that is closest to my heart. I became a refugee. As a refugee, I saw new difficulties. Refugees and migrants are so often the ones left furthest behind Women and girls in particular are often subject to brutality and violence in public spaces. I may have left Africa, but these memories of violence against women and girls will, will never, ever leave me. The screams of those women and girls on streets still echo through my mind. Through my career, I came back to my true life's journey and have committed to humanitarian work returning to the land of my birth, Africa, with the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund, UNICEF, and UNAIDS as a special campaigner for children with HIV. During a trip with UNAIDS, I decided to set up a MORE, a foundation focused on women's health and creating safe hospital spaces for pregnant women. I am committed to using my influence as a UN Woman Planet 5050 champion 
to end violence against women in public spaces once and for all. I am thankful to Madam Lakshmi Puri for enabling me to take a stand as a champion for the causes of women, especially women refugees around the world. I ask every boy and man in this room to stand with me and commit, stand, 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 please. <laughs> ending violence against women and commit towards building spaces that are safe for women and girls all over the world. Come on, let's see you. <laughs> what I have learned is that the greatest untaped resource for change and transformation in today's world are its women. If we really want to change this planet, we must empower the women. And we can start by creating safer spaces where women and girls can walk without the fear of being raped and harassed. Even though circumstances I did not understand, in the midst of suffering, pain, and hurt so deep and so penetrating, I have been able to press ahead and build something significant. I have learned to focus on the thank you and to know that I'm not alone and to know that everything can be turned into something that counts, that makes a difference and that changes the world. I have found that when we suffer, we must not shut ourselves away but instead fling the door open to other people to serve and to help them. And because I can understand the pain and the plight of the refugees, especially the women and children who are so much more vulnerable in the current terrible circumstances which we see today, I am better able to help them and share the peace that I have found in being thankful. As Maya Angelou says, a bird doesn't sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has a song. <laughs> May we be those who know how to sing our song, even when we have no answer, so that our song may truly set others free. Thank you so much.